Hey everyone, today, we've got a jaw-dropping discovery to share. New research reveals that plants may be absorbing 31% more CO2 than scientists thought, making them even more powerful allies in the fight against climate change. This finding has major implications for climate predictions and emphasizes the importance of natural carbon sinks like rainforests. Let's break down what this all means and why it's a huge step forward for our planet. Welcome to Trendstorm. Chapter 1. What's Terrestrial Gross Primary Production, GPP? Alright, let's start with the basics. Ever heard of Terrestrial Gross Primary Production, or GPP? This is the term scientists use for the total amount of carbon dioxide that plants pull from the atmosphere through photosynthesis. It's the largest exchange of carbon between land and air on Earth. Until now, the annual global GPP was estimated at about 120 petagrams, or 120 billion metric tons, of carbon per year. But this study, published in Nature, bumps that number up to an astounding 157 petagrams. Chapter 2. How did scientists find this out? Here's where it gets cool. Scientists from Cornell University and Oak Ridge National Lab used carbonyl sulfide, OCS, a chemical that follows a similar path as CO2 in plants. By tracking OCS, they got a more accurate measure of how much CO2 plants absorb. Unlike CO2, carbonyl sulfide doesn't get re-released during respiration, making it a solid proxy for studying photosynthesis on a global scale. They used a huge database of plant traits, called leaf web, and cross-checked their findings with high-resolution data from monitoring towers instead of relying solely on satellites which can be blocked by clouds, especially over tropical rainforests. This helped scientists get the clearest view yet of CO2 absorption rates around the world. Chapter 3. Key Role of Mesophyll Conductance One of the breakthroughs in this study was a better understanding of mesophyll conductance, how CO2 moves into chloroplasts, the plant cell parts where photosynthesis happens. Mesophyll conductance is like a filter for CO2, helping plants become more efficient at photosynthesis. This factor, though rarely studied, turned out to be crucial in understanding global CO2 absorption. Dr. Li Anhong Ji Yu, a scientist at Oak Ridge National Lab, helped develop a model that accurately represents this process. According to him, this new insight could redefine the way we represent CO2 uptake in global carbon cycle models, which are essential for predicting climate change. Chapter 4. Tropical Rainforests. The Ultimate Carbon Sink. Now, here's something incredible. Tropical rainforests, like those in the Amazon, play an even bigger role as carbon sinks than we realize. These rainforests have a massive biomass, think tall trees and dense plant life, that holds enormous amounts of carbon. The study showed that rainforests account for the largest difference between the old and new GPP estimates, which means they're taking in way more CO2 than we previously thought. This could be a game changer for conservation efforts in these regions. Chapter 5 why this matters for climate predictions. Knowing that plants are absorbing more CO2 than we thought can help scientists make more accurate climate predictions. If our climate models can factor in this extra CO2 absorption, it reduces some of the uncertainty in forecasting how much CO2 will be in the atmosphere and what that means for global warming. Dr. Peter Thornton from Oak Ridge says this finding is a huge step forward in accurately predicting future climate impacts. 
It also highlights why we need to protect ecosystems like rainforests that are doing such important work in balancing Earth's carbon levels. So the takeaway is clear. Plants are working harder than we ever realized to combat climate change. Every forest, every tree, and even those plants in your backyard are making a difference. This discovery emphasizes just how essential it is to protect these natural carbon sinks. Source. Oak Ridge National Laboratory. So what do you think about this study? Let me know in the comments below and let's keep the conversation flowing. If you found this info as mind-blowing as we did, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more eye-opening science news. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more breakthroughs in science and tech, and until next time, keep storming those trends.